Okay, ladies and gentlemen, you trader nerds, welcome in to the show. I am Dr. Bobby Gaines, a.k.a. Sweet Bobby. So honored to be with you. And uh, we have a, a crazy market today, or so I've heard. I haven't really watched. But look at this, y'all. The VIX is down. When we are, we are what, negative vega. So when we are negative vega and the VIX is down, we get what you call paid, right? So we should be able to play some Jeffersons today. You know, how am I going to say this and, and 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 be humble? You remember Mac, what's his name, sung that song, Oh, Lord, it's hard to be humble when you're perfect in every way. Y'all remember that? It's a great song. And so I don't want y'all to take this the wrong way, because it could certainly be construed the wrong way, and y'all start saying that I'm an a-hole, and y'all, you know, but tell me what you want to. But have you noticed, <clears throat> let me just say this. All right, so I've been fat and unhealthy my entire life. Pretty much my entire life. So then you start taking care of your health. You know, you start looking at stuff. And then you kind of see people that don't or maybe can't. You don't know. And you look at them and you go, I wonder why they aren't doing something. Have y'all done that? Or maybe those of y'all that are in shape already. So you're at the at the Piggly Wiggly and you see an old gal coming through and her butt's two back sandals wide and she's riding in the little cart, you know, going down the, the little aisle seven, trying to get her Twinkies and all that. And you look at her and you go, I don't know, man. I feel for you. You know, and not that you're superior, not that you, but you just kind of feel like, oh, man, and Twinkies is killing that old gal. You know, you kind of have that. Th you ever had that thought? So now when I was the person riding the little car, getting the Twinkies, I thought I just, I was embarrassed, right? I was like, oh, my God, I don't want nobody to. For example, I went to the school lunch yesterday with my kids, right? So like a couple of years ago when Devin was there, I was not looking forward to it. Because they got these little seats that you have to crawl over and put your legs in, you know. And I'm like, they don't have like a chair you pull out. It's like a bench seat, like a picnic table. And it's kind of hard for me to do, you know, to get into those things. Uh, not that I wouldn't fit, because there's plenty in the room, but it was like I'd have to move my legs and throw them over some kid's head and push them off out of the way. So I was a little embarrassed to do it. Yesterday, it was kind of cool. I didn't even have to think about it, right? I just squatted right in there with all the little kids, you know, and just started – and then they asked me, could they have ice cream? I said, well, shoot, yeah, y'all go up to the little ice cream thing and get y'all the ice cream you want. They said, but we need money. I said, I'll pay for it. Ain't no big deal. And then they went over there and the teachers run them out. And they said, there's no ice cream on Thanksgiving Day. And I'm like, oh, sorry. So then they come back and look at me like, hey, thanks, mister, for throwing us to the wolves, you know, sending us to the ice cream on the thingy and we can't get it. Anyway, so I fit just fine. So uh, I guess what I'm trying to say is, I was watching some traders today. I guess it was Tasty Trade or listening to it or something. What was it, Fast Market or something? And these people send them these trades and they want to get Tom and Tony's take on it, you know, whether they should do it or not. And it's really just so funny because I, I sit there and I kind of I kind of had that same feeling, huh? It's the lady in the little thing that got a butt that's two X handles wide, or guy got a butt two X handles wide that's going down aisle seven in the Twinkies. Right, I go, man, these poor traders, they're just they're just looking for the scraps from the farmer's table. They're like little cockroaches scurrying everywhere. Is this trade good? Let me run it by my buddy. Is this trade good? Let me run it by Tom and Tony. Is this one good? Let me run it by, is this one good? You know, and then they're spending all day in chat rooms and Wall Street bets and blah, 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 trying to garner information about where the next move is or where the next trade is. What a miserable life that would be, right? So while they're the cockroach under the farmer's table, you and I are the farmer who's got the hogs and the bacon, we got the cows and the hamburger, and we got the zucchini. We got it all on the table. And bless their little hearts, they're just scurrying around like a like a bunch of uh, uh, wolf rats uh, all over the floor trying to, to pick up crumbs. It's really kind of sad. So you look at them and you go, not that we're superior. It's just that they've not elevated to a point to where their portfolio managers, they're more trade managers looking for that they're drug druggies right they're looking for the next hit they're looking for that next fix so you and i don't have to uh do that right oh let's see what rick's saying rick never hardly types anything so this is good rick says i've been in your position people like that like to eat and not exercise more than they want to lose weight and that was me no one really wants to be overweight but mostly they're not willing to pay the price that it takes that's true and, for most, and I'm not saying that I'm not going to regress to that. I could, y'all, because I'm a fallible 
human, right? I've got all these vices. Y'all know my vices. I've got temper problems. I've got attention problems. I've got all these things that, you know, work against me. So what has happened that I find is that I was a reckless trader as well, looking for the scrap, looking for the next trade, looking for the next earnings, looking for what the high IV is. Stop it. Just stop it. And then when I got my spreadsheet and started spreadsheeting it back in, I don't know, 2015, 2016, whenever I started spreadsheeting it, uh, that gave me a little bit of control, right? It keeps an undisciplined person under control. And now I find that having a trainer, personal trainer, and me sending in my calories and fat and protein every day to my trainer and weighing in once a week at the gym and going to the gym and checking in and doing my hour uh, and recording everything like I do on my spreadsheet, my trade has made me a more disciplined person. So not that we're better at all, but you start saying, hey, wait a minute. I was the person on aisle seven with the Twinkies and the, and the dough donuts. What, man? Yeah, tell me. Yeah. Like, I'm not going to get you for whatever she wanted to do. She just get her, and I'll, I'll get her later. I'm like, okay. She says, not a secret. You're okay. I'm like, okay. I just have to text me. And she's like, never mind, Nana's here. So, see, it's like, even though she can't even remember, she's supposed to do Yeah. Okay. Well, we'll, we'll work on that. My mom was getting confused on stuff, and I'm getting real nervous about it. Um, all right. I lost my train of thought. So anyway, you see, it's so people are uh, they're undisciplined. I'm undisciplined, and so we need a little structure to keep us disciplined. So that's all we're doing. So don't overthink it. Let's make it simple. It really is simple, right? You can go to Weight Watchers. You can go to God's Gym. You do whatever. But at the end of the day, you got to burn more calories than you take in to lose weight, right? Like I'm some expert or something. But that really is it. Whether you're doing Weight Watchers points or you're doing Sally K. Now, what is that? Not Mary Kay. Sally, what was her name? Who used to do the little drinks? Remember the Tommy Lasorda? What was that stuff? Slim Fast. You got all that kind of stuff. And Red Grave or whatever that was doing Weight Watchers. And, and Oprah that's doing Weight Watchers. Y'all, where else can you see somebody that's fat telling you to lose weight and Oprah buying Weight Watchers? Huh? I mean, come on, y'all. Remember when she pulled out all that, uh, what was it, a wagon full of butter or something? She lost all that weight. She looked great, right? And now she's telling us how to vote and how to how to lose weight. And I'm like, Oprah, I don't know, man. I don't know if you've got it down yet. I don't know. That's why I bet nobody's going to the Weight Watchers meeting now. Some talking, some listening, and a program that works. I remember because I was there eating tuna and, and, and liver every week. All right. What am I saying? Oh, so here we are uh, on a day like today. And I know what some of y'all did. I know y'all. I know you degenerates. I know what you did. You go, Bobby, there's a report coming out today. I ain't doing nothing. I am scared to flipping death. And I go, why are you scared today? Are you the cockroach under the farmer's table? Are you just trying to be scared of everything? When the light comes on, you're just going to run and scurry? Stop it. Trade you plan. We got a plan. And there's more power in us trading this right than there is in it. There's more good with us doing this. Hold on a minute. Let me find a YouTube for you. I'm going to show you this one right here. Hold on a second. Y'all, y'all, y'all just talk amongst yourselves. I hope I don't get a copyright warning on this when I put this on YouTube because I'm gonna play someone else's. I'm gonna play my history, but I don't want y'all to see all my history because some of my history might have Jada De Lorenza on there from the Food Network in it. How do I find my history? Yet? History here, the library, history. I don't want y'all to see your thing. All right, here we go. Uh, TikTok hide and seek partner. What the crap is that? Um, oh my god where's my hold on a second library history 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 11 secrets of the little last kid needs some holy water that ain't me y'all that's my daughter what is this hide and seek parlor opposite day spidey roblox uh hold on a let me just find it here oh i don't care if y'all see when i do smb camera I kind of like some of the stuff that SMB Capital puts out, and they put out a little short. Let's find them real quick. Like SMB Capital. Okay, here we go. Here we go. SMB Capital. Oh, here it is. Our job as traders is not to make money. Let me play this for y'all. I'm going to get kicked off of YouTube for this, but I'm going to play it. Here we go. Ready? 
On the wall hangs a painting SMB commissioned from a talented UK painter that reflects a key trading principle at our proprietary trading firm. One good trade, one good trade, one good trade. Our job as traders is not to make money. Focusing on our PL is not how you become an elite trader. SMB Capital is interested in developing elite eight figure a year traders. Our job as traders is to make one good trade and then one good trade and then one good trade. We do this and then accept the results. If I make one good trade and I lose money, I'm not stressed out about this or bothered or disappointed or pissed. Actually, I almost don't care what the results are. I did my job. I made one good trade. If our traders make one good trade and lose, they have our full support. They've done their job. This is an important trading principle for us at SMB Capital. On the wall hangs a pain. So let's just summarize. Now it's a little different from what we do, right? So we're going to say not one good trade because we don't look for the one good trade. We go uh, one. Okay, look at my metrics. Look at my metrics. Look at my metrics. All right. Look at my metrics. What do my metrics say? And do I execute what my metrics just told me? That's what we do. Look at my metrics. Interpret the meaning of what the metrics are saying. Execute your plan based upon what the metrics say. Now, that's the plan. Now, if you and I lose money doing that, so be it. Mr. Market whooped our tail. But we can say that we gave the plan a chance. We gave the plan a chance. So we have developed a little strategy here. It's simple, but some of you are still overcomplicating. Look, look. here's what's the first thing you do. Look at my metrics. Whatever time of the day that you're doing. I hadn't looked at the market or my metrics all day. Look at the metrics. Interpret what the metrics say. Execute your plan based upon the metrics. And if you did that, give yourself a high five and go to the Applebee's and get you a two for 25 with a um, with the cheese sticks or the, what is that, artichoke? Uh, spinach artichoke, thing, which is really, really good. Okay? So that's what we got to do. It's just simple, y'all, right? Look at your metrics. What are my metrics saying to me? And then execute based upon the metrics. Boom. That's your plan. So now, when you're writing your trading plan, kind of set it up like that, right? Okay, what are my metrics? Okay, look at my metrics. What are my metrics telling me? How do I execute based upon the metrics? And you've got a trading plan. Isn't that cool? All right, so let's go. Enough of me jabber, jabber, jabbering. Preaching to the choir. I know I'm preaching to the choir because y'all are stuff, man. Y'all know what y'all do. I tried to call Ed today. Did he answer? No, he didn't answer. You know why? Because he's watching the stern CPI numbers. That's what he's doing. I was calling Ed and he was like, Bobby, you leave me alone. I'm in my I'm in field trade right now. No, no, I'm picking it. Yeah. Oh, what should I? I'm in the wrong count. Huh? Let's get our tasty count. I gotta hide the account number, though y'all all saw everybody so far, probably already. All right, so let's see how much money we got in this kill. So where's my dad gum let lick? All right, so we are at 36, 153, 72. 36, 153, 72. 36, 153.72. Praise the Lord Jesus. You know what that means. Well, we're moving on now. We're moving on now. So we are at now. Let's look. Let's interpret our metrics. All right. So remember, first step: develop your metrics. Okay, we've already done that. We spent years doing this, right? So let's develop our metrics. Uh, crap! I just saw your call, Bobby. Sure, Ian. I don't want to hear about it. No, no big deal. I see what you do. You know, he's over there with Dylan Kaufman in the bunker, thinking the market's going to fall when it never falls. All right, so what am I doing now? Okay, delta is four, theta 49. So let's put that in, 449. Go to great summations. Go four and 49. Y'all, I can tell you without a shadow of a doubt what has happened. Delta go down, market go up. I can tell you we've had a big move up in the market by that one, met by these two metrics. Theta go down, delta go down, profits go up. I would imagine... My net, uh, my buying power has gone down. Now, if this thing updates, sometimes we don't update over here. I, I'll be dead. Look at this. 909150. Okay. 90, oh, what the devil? That's 2016, baby. Not going back in time. 
with the what was that thing on Back to the Future? Nine oh nine one fifty. Let's put that in nine oh nine one fifty. The VIX is down to twenty three. So we could be using point three. We're using point one four. We could be using thirty five. We're using twenty five. And my deltas are really, really groovy. All right, so what am I going to do here? You know what I think I'm going to do? You know what I think I'm going to do? I don't have to do nothing. Now, some of y'all would say, Bobby, I ain't putting on a trade. And I go, why not, man? I can get me some positive deltas. Market goes up all the time. I was at 27 yesterday, and I'm at four today. Yeah, but, Bobby, the market went up. Okay. And what's your point? The The statistics are the statistics. The odds are the odds. The probabilities are the probabilities. Y'all need to buck it up and trade it, baby. You know what y'all, I'm telling y'all, some of y'all are just so scared. I can't do it. I can't pull it. I feel like I'm getting on y'all too much. It ain't y'all I'm getting on to. It's probably the people that are just watching on YouTube, right? And they're going, what the crap is this? All right. It's not y'all that are watching. So y'all just take it with a grain of salt. So let's go down. We're going to buy this thing for $10. Look at this, y'all. Look at the, here's all of our other, here's our pawns who are now becoming great and mighty uh, bishops. Except they're not the kind of bishops like in the Catholic Church that are butt in the little kids. We don't have that going on in our little fortress here. So we got this going on. And so now we're going to move this down. 975, right? And so we hope to get that filled at 10. So let's put us one of those on. Cha-ching! <laughs> filled. All right, now we're going to do a 112. Here's where y'all scared that. Bobby, I ain't going to do that on a day like this. Why not? What's wrong with y'all? You know, take a little risk, baby. Look, but Bobby, your naked put is right where you end of your put debit spread is. You can't do that. Why can't you? Why can't you? I need data. I don't mind my deltas being a little, little more pop. I'm flat right now. I got plenty of buying power. What y'all worried about? So let's go in here. Man, let's do something weird. What, Bobby? What if? Would you ever sell one above where you put debit spread is? You dang right I would. In a Alabama minute. So let's go in here. Let's see where I'm going. How about 3400 Look at that juicy little premium. 1325 Oh, be still my heart. Let's get that puppy in there. Look at that. Come on, baby. Place. 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 Oh, be still. How come they ain't feeling it? I don't want to give me that rich, rich premium, do they? Oh, it's knocking me down. 1275. Okay, we'll do that. Flash it. Okay, we're in. Ta da! All right, we're done. What the crap is that? What y'all got going on over there? Magnus, that must be Ken. Ken sometimes. He's got stuff going on. He's got a busy man. All right, so let's go to the next, Kim. Uh, did y'all like yesterday's session? I thought yesterday's session was really good. Not because I did it. It's just that I thought what we talked about was really, really good. So let's go over here to the Crimson account. A little Crimson account. See if we can play the Jeffersons today. 27, 9, 12, 87. 20, did you say, tw Bob, did you say 27, 9, 12, 87? That can't be right. 27, 9, 12. What? 27, 9, 12, point 87. What the devil? Where we're moving on now. Try that twice. I won't look again. Just make sure it was a mistake. That, that's a lot of money in a little bit of your can. All right, so let's take our little group out. Next thing you know, y'all gonna see me coming up with a Timex watch on. I'll be like Timex, the watch champion. And y'all be seeing me outside. I may drive something really slick, like a Cadillac Escalade. Oh, Ed, look, look what's showing up in my Crimson account. Ed has rubbed off on me. I have. I kind of brought this up to my acupuncturist today. I said, yeah, I bought a, bought a couple of T-bills this week. She said, how do you buy T-bills? I said, oh, it's, it's just something I do. Been doing it for years. So uh, I got me a T-bill in there. So look at this, y'all. Now, how am I going to interpret all this crap? Ed's got me all fixed up, messed up. But I knew this would happen. I knew Ed's going to get me all messed up on my T-bills. And I got... You're messing up my buying power. And unbelievable. All right. I don't know how I'm going to interpret this. I think Ed probably does his like without looking at the stuff. So he'd say, my deltas are this, my thetas are this. 
So that, that doesn't bother my thetas. It bothers my deltas. And it gives me some buying power, Ed. Ed, how do I do this? I don't know what to do. What the hell? You got me in something, and then you can't, you've led me, you've led me down to the creek, and you let me drown, for God's sakes. <laughs> so this is one little thing I failed to mention, but it's yeah, really thanks a lot, Ed. It's not a problem, so but I'm glad you're bringing it up. So your T-bill, you need to ignore the T-bill. So when you're doing your metrics, just look at your MES and they pretend like the, the T-bill is not there. Okay, I got you. In other words, ignore the delta, ignore the buying power effect, but you see that, uh, just ignore those and look at your micro line and that's where you, all your, your important metrics come from. Yeah, okay. Okay, yeah. Right. So I'm not so mad at you anymore. We'll let put, you put, me on, put me on probation because that is one little thing that I did not mention that is rather important. I'm sure I'll get barraged by that as people fill their T-bill orders and they're wondering what the heck it's doing to their deltas. It, it does look like it has an effect. Just ignore it. it. It's having zero effect. Okay, I'll do that. So negative 23 and 38. Negative 23 but, and 38. But you can put me on probation. Put me on probation. Hey, I, I'm going to kick you out a lot for, I'm going to put you in timeout, Ed. Maybe 23 and 38. <laughs> we'll put Ed in timeout. Ed, go sit in the timeout chair. No, I'm just joking. Now, what am I doing here? Negative 23 and 38. And then we got buying pair of 74, 39. Y'all remember yesterday when y'all were like, I can't believe Bobby's putting a trade on today. He's at 39%. Or I didn't in this one. Did I? This is in the other one, I guess. God, I forgot what my number was. What's my number over here? Um, I've taken two Adderall today, y'all. I am juiced. 74.43. Juiced. You hear me? Y'all, I only took two metformin yesterday. Two. And my sugars were just fine. I may not even take any tonight. I may sit up all night and just measure my sugar, my glucose. All right, so look at this, y'all. Happy days are here again. All right, so negative 23. How can you have negative 23? You've only got like one call position on. Isn't that crazy? That's because our put debit spreads have become mighty warriors. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Right? So I'm using 26% buying pair. I'm at 0.4. I could be at 0.3. What would y'all do? What would you do? Okay, remember, develop your metrics. Okay, Bobby's got his metrics. Okay, look at your metrics. Okay, I'm looking at my metrics. Interpret your metrics. Interpret my metrics. My metrics are saying, you know, Bob, you don't have to put a trade on if you're a conservative trader because you got enough gas in your tank. But you know what? You absolutely could. You absolutely could. Bobby, we need to look at market direction. Bull crap. You ain't got to look at no market direction. Who gives us a thing? Y'all, we were down 2% like yesterday or last night, whenever. Did y'all's net lick move any? If anything, mine was up a little bit. We're up, what, 4 or 5% today? God only knows. I mean, uh, he went so high on us. Audio is bad. Lost well, sound. Sorry about that. Yeah, yeah, my, yeah. I'm not computer. Y'all couldn't hear it. It was, uh, man, it was messed up. Okay. How in the name of the Lord can an account be up with negative deltas? This is a bearish account. Market go up. SPY goes up one point. How much money do I lose? 28. 23. Yeah, somebody's eyes ain't too good. It hey, was that you? Yeah. What was wrong with your voice there? I was disguising it. Ed, are you on the toilet? <laughs> Be honest with me. You sound like you. you I was it. disguising my voice. Okay. All right. So it's negative twenty three. So if if the market goes up one point, I should be down twenty three dollars. Well, let's see what Spy's done today. So Spy, this is what negative deltas are up twenty. Y'all, I should be down 23 times 20. I should be down $460. But my account is up 
today by eight, no, yeah, $824. Where did that come from? Anybody? Bueller? Bueller? Theta burn. Theta burn and volatility, right? I'm short vol. Vol gets quick, and that's what causes the theta burn today, right? That's what causes all the theta to come out is because the VIX went down two points. Everybody understand that? That's how that's how Big Daddy's making money today. So this account says, if you're conservative and you're like, I have to, uh, I'm going to be conservative. Well, all you got to do is don't even put a trade on if you don't want to. You don't need to. You don't have to. I'm all green. But old Bobby is a risk taker. So I'm going to move this over the side, and I'm going to put on another one. On an up day, 5%, Bobby, you are, you are a brave or you're stupid. I'm just not sure which one. And maybe a combination of both. So let's go and put us on one in this little account. If, if Ed had messed it up by putting these T-bills in here. God forbid. Unbelievable. We joke with Ed, but he did a really good job on the T-bill thing. Really, really good job. I'm so proud of that. I mean, who would have known that I could do T-bills? T-bills. Have any of y'all tried it out at your doctor's office or something? My doctor's office called me more ago about something. It wasn't about me. It was calling me about something else. And uh, I was like, yeah, I'm loading up on T-bills right now. I'm going to use that at church Sunday and Sunday school. They're going to be like, Bobby, you know about two bills? I'm like, yeah, that's kind of my thing. You know, that's where I do. That's where I reside. So I'm going to do two of these 3,400s. I won't get filled here, but we'll try it again. Watch me get a margin call. You can't do it because you got a T bill. Ed, you know I'm picking at you about the T bill. All right, here we go. So let's do this. When I was in radio, Jimmy Talbert was my, my little radio buddy, and I picked on him all the time. I feel better when I have somebody to pick on and it would be like people would, we'd go to remotes and stuff and we'd, we'd go out and people would be like, well, you put picking on Jimmy. And, and I, and I'm like, Jimmy and I are really good friends. That's part of what we do. I mean, we just, you know, I pick on Jimmy and Jimmy calls me a fat black glass wearing bastard. That's what he didn't call that on that. He called me, he called me a fat black glass. That's where that came from. What the crap? Boom. Boom. I've got feel for what? 1250. I'll be hey. So, and I, they never heard him behind the scenes calling me a black, flat. Black. That's where that came from. That came from my friend, Jimmy Talker. That would call me, you fat, black, glass wearing, spam hat, all that kind of stuff. Now, he died before. No, he didn't die. He died after I had nine toes. So, he never, I don't know if he ever called me nine toes or not. All right, what am I doing? Oh, I got to do the put debit spread. Right, so, let's go get that in. Trade. And he is 50 days. So, that was... The 3750, 3700. Look at this, y'all. We're coming way up, baby. 3750, 3700. 3750, 3700, 950. We'll try it for 975. Nine, no, see, that's that illegal price. Why do they even let you put in a little legal price? Come on, fix it, baby. Ha ha ha. Little daddy getting it cheaper, which means the market must have gone. What does that mean? Market must have gone up, right? So let's put the, oh my gosh, I got four minutes and 16 seconds. Uh, well, I can do that. We trade futures. We don't quit trading in, but liquidity dries up some. So let's go ahead and get our other account done. Then I can put these in their groups later. So let's go to the other account. Let's see if we can get this done without me getting too sidetracked. So in this account, can we play the Jeffersons? Let's see, net leg. One, oh, I need to do good like I need to know. 104, 413, 71. 104, 413, 71. 104, 413, 71. 104, 413.71. I believe that it calls for another Jefferson. Yeah, we're moving on now. We're moving on now. To the east side. To the east Here I am with T-bills again. So negative 3.5 and 81. Negative 3.5 and 81. Negative 3.5 and 80. Look at this, y'all. Look at this delta. 3.5, 81. Look at that, y'all. I'm surprised that count's not up more. And we are at 23. And my buying pair usage is, here's the one where I pushed it yesterday. And I said, Bobby, I don't know about that. I said, kids, hold my Coca-Cola. I'm going in. 23,900. 
Hey, if you ever take this stuff too serious anyway, that's when you start losing money. When you're scared, scared, what do they say? Scared money is lost money. Y'all lost sound again? Oh, no, that was lost. All right, so scared money is lost money. So you can't trade scared. When you're doing this, you better be having fun. I mean, you better be like, oh, man, this is the funnest thing I've ever done. Hey, right, Bobby, so are you are you sure that your uh, buying power drops ten thousand dollars? Just wanted to double check on that. Double check. Yes. Wow, that's crazy. Okay, sorry you about that. Much? Now, what some people would probably do is go. If I want to drop my buying power, what I could do is I could take money out of the account or blah blah blah. But y'all, I show y'all everything, right? Y'all see everything. Except my account number, which all y'all seen, and nobody's stolen it yet. Praise God. So y'all show everything. I show everything. And if I take money out, I mean, I'll show y'all. Or if I put money in, I'll show y'all. I, I don't know how you how I can prove that to you, but y'all trust me. I think I got to do is trade. I got two minutes before the liquidity dries up. I'll be still. All right, let's go to the other one. Let's see if I can do it. I know I can. Y'all get me so sidetracked. Why don't you do that? All right, so let's go here. And let's go. Man, let's sell four of them. Bobby on an up day? Shoot shit. Let's do it. All right, 1250. I'm going to see if I get 1275. I'm going to confirm and send. I'm going to put it in the right account. Bobby Beth 203. I'm going to be the best turn troop I've looked at. Market must have went down a little bit. That's what I'm thinking. So let's go grab the other one. And the dollar 12. How many of those did I do? Hold on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No, I only did two of those. So I want to do four of those. Create duplicate order. Let's see if I can do two more of them. 1275. Do four of those. Ta da! There we go. All right, so now let's go back. I got a minute and eight, cent, eight minutes before the, the liquidity dries up. I can probably still get it in. So let's do this. Create duplicate order. Bob, why are you even, son, why are you even messed up? Don't worry about it. Just slow down. Slow down. Take your little deep breath, little Bob. Bobby Beth, two little three. Best entry for the river scene. Ah, ha, ha. 46 seconds left to go. <sighs> Well, that feels good. I'll record them in my spreadsheet later. But y'all see how this kind of is cool, right? So you gotta you gotta enjoy this stuff. You gotta go, man. Okay, so let's 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 take away what our thing is today. You must, as a portfolio manager who is the farmer sitting at the table, not the roach waiting on the floor for the crumb, you must develop some metrics by which you will adhere to in guiding your account. Number one. Once you have spent those hundreds and thousands of hours developing your metrics or you could say screw that i'll just follow what bobby's doing do it at your own peril y'all know y'all seen me i've lost tons of money tons of money in front of y'all that a beautiful sound of so y'all don't blindly follow me i want you to develop your metrics i use theta buying power and delta i used to use all these other little ratios that are in here if you want to unplug them i don't use any of that anymore i just simplified it so develop your develop your metrics. Number two, on a daily basis, okay, record and look at your metrics. You've seen what we do. We record and look at our metrics. The third step you do is interpret what are the metrics telling me, right? What is the metrics telling me? So it tells me a couple of things. This account tells me, you know, Bob, you don't have to put a trade on. How do you feel? Am I comfortable putting on more risk? And I could go, well, yeah, I'm at 25. Could be at 35. Yeah. So I did two tranches today in, in the in the other camp, right? So so let the metrics speak to you. And then fourth, which is vitally important, you must execute based upon what the metrics told you. And that is 